Yo, well, what is going on guys? Taco here back with some more Red Dead Redemption 2 for you guys. Now in this Red Dead Online video, I'll be showing you guys a really cool spot uh, to make money. Okay, you guys get salmon here, you guys get pike, stuff like that. It's a really cool spot, really easy to do as well. But before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And let's get right into the video. Alright, to start things out guys, we're over here by side Fort Wallace, which is north of Valentine. Alright, right up here. Okay, Valentine. Head north up here, and you see like this little, you know, little water gap thingy right here. This is where you guys want to be at. Now for this method, you guys are going to need two horses. Okay, I got mine, and I got another horse that I stole over that Valentine, just sitting, you know, at a uh, one of those hitch thingies, and I just took it. Okay, I just took it. So you're going to need two. Okay, two horses because that means you guys can make more money if you guys have two because you guys can get pike here, and pike is like the really really huge um, fish that you guys got to put on the back of your horse and if you guys do two of those that's extra money and really easy now what you guys want to do is get your second horse not the main horse but your second horse that you, the one that you guys stole and hitch it because sometimes the horse you know wants to run off do other stuff like that so it's a good idea just to hit your horse so it doesn't run off on you okay this right here is a spot where you guys need to be at and just this is like everything you guys need all right look at look Look at these fish right here, boys. We got salmon, we got bluegill, stuff like that, man. As well as some pike over here. So what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is I'm gonna actually spawn in more fish. And you're probably wondering how do you spawn in more fish? Blah blah blah. Well, you guys can spawn in fish easily just by taking out your fishing rod. Alright, just take out your fishing rod right over here. Now if you guys don't have a fishing rod, it doesn't matter. There will still be a lot of fish here. And if there is not a lot of fish here, just switch to another online session and you guys should be good and there should be a lot of fish right here for you. So I took out my fishing rod guys and now I'm gonna switch my special spinner lure. Now I don't know if it like depends on what lure you're using or whatnot but I just always use the special spinner lure. That's just what I always like to use. So I'll usually cast it on out, like wait like a good five seconds and then this uh, you know, reset cast and then begin the method. So, you know, wait a couple seconds. All right, now just reset the cast and just put put away your fishing rod. You don't need it no more. And first off, what you want to do is look for the big fish. And that is the pike. Like I said, they're right here. See these things right here? You just want to guide these to the shore, and they will simply kill themselves for you. And you put these on the back of your horse. Now, if I can get them to even move, please. There they go. So, you just want to kick it to the shore, boys. Lure it. Come on, come, hurry up, man. This thing, this thing does not want to get to the shore. It's taking forever. Please, just get over there. All right, so it, it may take a little minute to get these on the shore, but uh, it will get on shore sometime. Okay, these are just, you know, these are lazy. Takes them a minute. Come on, now we're almost there. But you are, baby. You're almost there. All right, I think we got it right there. Is that it? Is it dead yet? There it is. All right, so a northern pike, three star, right there. Now, these right here, I'm pretty sure, go for $8 a pop or 7 something. And like I said, this is easy money right here. That's $16 you guys can make really, really easy just by getting two horses. Now, I'm going to put it on my main horse just to start it off, dude. Just because, just in case the other one wants to, you know, despawn or run off or something like that, um, I'll have a fish already, you know, with us. And we can turn that in for some money. Um, I'm going to try to go over here and get the second one. Where's the other one at? Do you guys see how many ripples that are in the water right now, dude? Like, that's insane. Now, I got to find the other pike. Where's the other pike at? Let me take out my fishing rod again so I can see where it's located. Uh, Oh, my God. Do you guys see how many fish there is right now? That's all. Well, not all salmon, but that's mostly like salmon. Uh, What else? Bluegill, I'm pretty sure, or rock bass, something like that. Yeah, that is a lot of fish right there, boys. And these go for a good amount of money as well. So, hey, I don't know. I don't see no other pike. I think the other one just despawned. Oh, here it is right here. It's way over here. There it is. Come on, buddy. Where'd he go? Okay, so the big pike is way over there in the middle of the water. Uh, yeah, I'm not going over there. Too lazy. But what you guys can do as well is get your get on your horse and start trying to herd the fish towards the shore with your horse. That actually works really good as well, so let's do that. So you guys seen that there's a lot of fish here in this little river, dude. It has everything that you guys need. This money is really good. They got sockeye salmon, pike, bluefish, gill, uh, rock bass, stuff like that. And they're all just sitting in one spot. And all you guys got to do is just herd them to the shore. You know, they'll kill themselves. And you just pick them on up and just repeat the method, dude. Look at that. Chain pick rail right here, boys. Right on the shore. Okay. So look out on the shore as well as you guys can find that there is dead fish 
on the shore as well. So there's one right here. Uh, let me see what this one is right here. Now the objective of this here spot is to get the pike. Like I said, the pike is the most money at this spot that you guys can get. Okay, this, that's the most money you guys can get right there. I think the second most you can get is the uh, sockeye salmon, which they deducted the amount that you guys can sell it for a long time ago. But you guys still can make some good money with this spot right here. So all you guys got to do is come here with two horses, get out of your fishing rod, activate the fish. Look at look at this boys right here, easy. Now let me try to get this uh this pike right here onto shore, so I can put on my second horse, which I can turn in for extra money. Come on, buddy. Right over here to the shore. There you go. Come on. It'll be very, very worth it. Now I just can't get this one on the shore. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on now. There it is. There it is. A northern pike. So we got two of those so far. Two northern pikes. I'm going to put this one on the other horse. Okay. Well, uh, now like I said, this is why you guys always want to put the first fish that you guys get, the first pike on your main horse because this right here can happen I literally put this horse hitched to this tree and now it's despawned ran away or whatnot I don't know what happened to it but it's gone it's not here so to ensure that you guys have uh, you know money coming in with the spot just put it on your main horse all right now if you guys did end up putting you know the main fish or the big fish the pike on your on the second horse that you stole well that fish is gonna be gone because you can't get it back because the, the horse is gone what can you do about it? You can't do nothing yet. Now, if you guys want to make the most money when you guys come here, you guys already know what the answer to that is. Now, that is to bring a wagon. You guys can find a lot of wagons over there at, um, what's it called? Valentine. All right? Valentine has a lot. I mean, a lot of uh, wagons that you guys can get there. And uh, it is it is pretty easy to get them. Um, just wait till somebody uh, with a wagon comes beside you. Kill them or just rob them. Take the wagon to the spot right here. Load the pike in the in the wagon. I think you guys can store about a good a good four or five of them. And that's really, really good money right there. So if you guys can get like at least four to five pike every single time inside of your wagon, you guys will make some good money. And then we got, other, what's this one right here? We got a rock bass right here. So that's really good money right there. I, I think it's a 75 cents or, yeah, I think it's 75 cents for a rock bass, I think. We got another one right here as well. Now, if you guys want to, you can also uh, use small game arrows, come here, and shoot the fish with your bow and arrow, and it will still have a three-star condition on them. And you got to just turn them in, and you got to still make money right there. But it does take money, but it does cost money to get small game arrows. So, And I'm pretty sure you guys will make your money back if you guys just catch all these fish. It does take time, but you guys will you know, make a lot of money just by coming out here, hurting the fish ashore, and uh, picking them up and going to the butcher over there in Valentine and selling them. All right, it's not that hard. Now, I want to get a um, a salmon for you guys real quick. Just to show you guys how much it actually can sell for. All right, guys, we just arrived over here to Valentine. And we're at the butcher right now. I'm going to show you guys how much you guys can sell the pike for, as well as the perch, as well as the um, the, the sockeye salmon. So let me um, show you guys this right now. Let's go over here and sell. And, uh, okay, so a perch costs one dollar. So, you guys had 10 of those, that's really easy. Ten dollars right there. Now, let's go over here to a rock bass. Rock bass, one dollar, 10 of those. Then, that's ten dollars right there. That goes along with the perch, that's twenty dollars. Now, sockeye salmon go for 250. Now, we only have two of those, and that goes for five dollars right there. Now, just imagine if you had 10, that would be 25 dollars. All right. Not even including the rock bass as well as the perch. That gets you a total of $45, all right? Just by catching three Pacific fish, that's $45. Now, bluegill go for $0.75 cents each. That's all right. It's still some good money, though. I got three of those. That's $2.25. Now, that is basically wrapping up for the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And I'll see you guys all on the next video. I'm out, guys. Peace.